Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes, and today we'll be learning how to string Drew Westervelt's pocket in a Warrior Evo 4. Alright guys, today we're learning how to string Drew Westerwald's pocket in the new Warrior Evo 4. This is the pocket and head he used in uh, his Bayhawk season where they won the championship, as well as Team USA tryouts. I talked to him, got some pictures of his head and some detailed pictures of the sidewall, and uh, figured out a pattern for his pocket, and it looks really nice. It's a mid-low that has really smooth release, great hold, uh, but still allows you to crank, as you can see. Uh, obviously, Drew Westervelt knows how to rip the ball. Uh, it's got a nylon, two straights, and a four diamond U. The tutorials you'll need uh, for prior knowledge for this tutorial are a top string tutorial. You can choose either a standard nine diamond top or a triangle top string. Uh, either does not matter. You'll find that link in the description, as well as a tutorial for a one and an SI. Uh, you'll find all those tutorials in the description. I would highly recommend that you watch them first. Alright guys, so now we're going to learn how to string the sidewall for Drew Westervelt's Evo 4. Uh, so we've got the 9 diamond top string already installed. This is a 9 diamond triangle top string. It is done through the second hole. You can see up here the top one is empty. So now we'll start with the sidewall. Just take your sidewall string and uh, you're going to skip this fourth or this, uh, this third big hole here and go in through the outside of the fourth large sidewall hole and then up through the bottom of the first 10 diamond row and then come back around the outside and go in through the outside of that same hole just like that so now for his, pat his pattern you're going to do a one while skipping a sidewall hole so take that second 10 diamond row come down through the top down to the top of that second 10 diamond row. Again, you're going to skip uh, the fifth sidewall hole or the first little one. And this is just a one. So you're going to go in through the outside of the next sidewall hole, pull it through, and go up under that loop without going through any mesh. So that's just a one there. Then we're going to do another one. Same thing in through the back of the mesh, skipping a sidewall hole and coming down to the next one just a one so in through the outside and back up through the loop without going through any mesh and so now we're going to do an SI so I'll show you the SI uh, it's not too complicated of a knot and we're going to do an SI on the uh, fourth 10 diamond mesh hole down to the next sidewall hole without skipping any so for the SI come down through the top of the mesh in through the outside of the sidewall and then up through the bottom of the mesh and under that sidewall again. And when you pull it tight, it should look like that. So then we're going to do another SI, but we're going to skip a hole. So come down to this next 10 diamond row mesh, skip a sidewall hole, go down through the top of the mesh, in through the outside of the sidewall, skipping a hole, and then up through the bottom and under the sidewall string. Then he does a bunch of SIs in a row. So we're going to do another one right into the next sidewall hole, down through the top, in through the outside, up through the bottom. So that's another one. Then we're going to do another SI right into the next sidewall hole with the next hole mesh, down to the top, in through the outside, and up to the bottom. 
you can see this bunching of SIs is what's going to create our pocket. Uh, then we're going to do one more, so down through the top, in through the outside of the next sidewall hole without skipping any, and up through the bottom. You can see we're starting to create our pocket there and our channel by pulling them tightly up at the top. Then we're going to do a one while skipping a hole just like we did at the top. So in through the top of that next mesh hole, skip a sidewall hole, and go in the outside of the sidewall and back around without going through any mesh. Just a basic one. And finally a one tie off. We're just going to go in through the back of the last diamond of mesh and then out through the inside of the sidewall in the last sidewall hole. Then tie that off with a knot and your sidewall is complete. So now that we've got our sidewall complete, let's do the bottom string for Drew Westervelt's pocket. This is going to be a weaved nine diamond row bottom string. So we're going to start out at the bottom holes down here, go in through the back of the very outside left one, and then just come back and go in through the inside of the middle left one. Then we're going to come up and we're going to weave this sidewall string through the next nine diamond row of mesh. So coming up and under first, then down to the top, and back up and under. So just weaving it through each diamond. Once we've done four diamonds, we're going to skip one. So skip that very middle one and go straight over to the other side because this is a nine diamond row. And that means we've got to use four diamonds on each side plus one skipped in the middle. So once you're done weaving, you should end up on the bottom of the last nine diamond hole on the end there. Just pull it tightly a little bit so it bunches that mesh. Then come down through the outside of that outside hole on the other side and then back through the inside of the hole and then uh, pull it a little bit loose. So you make sure you've got a pocket to however deep you want it. And then just tie it off. Alright guys, so now I've got my pocket all strung up, just like Drew Westervelt's, uh, my Evo 4. I'm going to go ahead and string up the shooters. He uses one nylon on the 9 diamond row, then a claw shooting string right under that, then another one, um, a row under that, then a 4 diamond U. Uh, really nice shooter setup with a really smooth release. Um, you'll see when it's done that it looks really great and works really great as well. Keeps the hold and the shot and the pass consistent. If you need help with these shooters, these are weave shooters. Uh, obviously one nylon, two straights, and a U. I will link my weave shooter tutorial down in the description so you guys can make sure to check that out and learn how to do weave shooters for yourself.